In preparation for X-Men 97 dropping next month on Disney+, Plus, we wanted to take a look back at the first miniseries of one of the major players who doesn't often get a chance to shine in the spotlight, the time-traveling badass. <laughs> We start off with Bishop in the thick of it, battling holographic enemies in the danger room. But these aren't just regular foes. They're reminders of his past failures, hitting him hard with each virtual punch. He's fighting tooth and nail to save his buddies Malcolm and Randall, feeling the weight of his past losses bearing down on him. Just then, Professor X rolls in with some sage advice, telling Bishop to take a breather with Storm even suggesting they hit the theater for a little R&R, &R, showcasing the tight bond of the X-Men crew. Before they go, Bishop asks Forge for a favor, to fix up a holographic projector containing the brain patterns and memories of his late sister, Shard, a heavy burden he carries to this day. The tranquility of Central Park is shattered by Bantam, a renegade time traveler from Bishop's past, or is that future? Whatever. What is important, though, is that he is running for his life from the sinister Mountjoy, yet another misplaced mutant from Bishop's timeline, as he is the only living person that knows that Mountjoy exists in this timeline. And Mountjoy? He wants to keep it that way. Just when things look grim, a gang shows up, eager to get themselves erased by the acrobatic assassin with Mountjoy saving the last one so he can be absorbed and used to go after Bantam as the thugs had unwittingly provided a distraction for him to make his escape. Bantam reaches out to the X-Mansion in a panic, desperate for Bishop's help. Cut to Bishop and Storm leaving the theater where Bantam has tracked him down, followed closely by a murderous Mountjoy. It's go time as they face off against Mountjoy's dark powers. The battle kicks off in the alleyways with Bishop forced to confront Mountjoy as he has merged with Storm, absorbing her and retaining her powers and the ability to use them, showcasing the horror of their merged forms. But Bishop's got some tricks up his sleeve, absorbing Mountjoy's lightning attack and using it against him. But Mountjoy's unharmed since he was mid-flight and not grounded. But this misdirection was just a setup for the hailstones that belt Mountjoy, taking him to the ground. Mountjoy isn't backing down though, launching a fierce assault with hurricane winds and poison-tipped crossbow darts. Bishop's quick reflexes save the day, deflecting the deadly darts and turning the tables on Mountjoy. With a chilling ultimatum, Bishop forces Mountjoy to release Storm. But seeing Bishop succumbing to the poison, Mountjoy attempts to take advantage of the situation, but is forced to retreat as Storm shocks the dagger from his hand. As Mountjoy flees, the poison takes its toll on Bishop, leaving him on the brink of death. Subscribe for more.